Hello, welcome to another Crab's Treasure. This is a new Souls-like that takes place underwater and you play as a little hermit crab. And the demo for it just came out today, so I wanted to check it out. And it looks like we have two different levels we can choose from. We have Moon Caves and Expired Grove. So I'm just gonna do Moon Caves first since it looks like it's the tutorial. And here it is, we're a little hermit crab. So we can move our legs, we can move a camera. We have like a, a fork, can I attack with it? Can I, I can jump, I can, I can like hover, okay. Soda can, three defense, medium shirt, 65 depressurize. Is this like armor? Found a weird metal shell, press and hold LB to hide inside your shell. Is that like blocking? Wearing a shell reduces damage taken, hiding in it will divert all damage to your shell health. Acknowledge knowledge, I will acknowledge my knowledge. So my shell has health, oh. Right bumpers attack, what is my X button? I don't know why, I, what is this? I don't know what that does. I think I just wasted a bunch of stuff. Oh, look at this. Yeah. I already feel souls like, look at me, I'm so cute. Is this like something I can pick up? What is this? What is this glowy? I keep hitting X. I'm, I'm used to like every other game I've played where X is attack, but I know it's right bumper. I gotta get in the souls mindset. Learn to fish, sure. Fishing line. Found some old string. Hold LT to aim at a fish hook, then release to grapple towards it. I got a grappling hook? No, 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 I wanted to... <laughs> I wanted to go over here first, which I think I can, like, hover. Oh, my... Are you an enemy? Ooh, pretty. I got the crystals. They gave me my little purple stuff back? I got a bottle cap. New shell discovered, you can move. Oh, it's so cute. So what's the difference? This gives less defense, but it gives pop off, which, is this my X move? Is like, do I have like blade? What are they called? Um, Fable arts in, in Liza P, like blade arts in Dark Souls? I can't remember, but I think I get different moves depending on which shell I have. So this one gives me depressurize, which does like bleh. And the bottle cap gives me like an uppercut. I kind of like, the soda can at the moment. I like this. I like being able to swap out your, your shield basically for different moves. I wonder if we get different weapons. Hold A in the air to swim. Bread claw, a small chunk of plastic in the shape of a crab's claw. Maybe it has some value. Trade it in for a hundred microplastics. Cool. Microplastics I'm guessing are my souls. This is cute. I love this. I love this take on the, the souls genre. I've been saying this while playing Liza P a bunch. I want more like, weird souls games lies of peace definitely definitely weird and this game definitely is weird too can i equip this sit is this a bonfire or are we just sitting <laughs> look at this little lad oh what's my character's name do we know that yet am i a nameless crab or am i just another crab dodging attacks tap b right as an enemy attacks to dodge out of the way we got dodge rolling i don't know why i didn't even try this yet Whoa, it's like the frame rate on the, the dodge is like a lower FPS, it looks like. Or maybe that's just like me getting thrown off visually. Eee! Depressurize him. Heal? Okay, so I have Crab Estus. Oh my god. I gotta get used to the dodge roll. Heart Kelp Pod. So I have refillable Estus. Or these are consumable, I don't know. Oh, your shell breaks, so you're constantly like swapping it out. Oh, see the soda can had 20 health, but you're supposed to like keep swapping it out as you go. Okay. Oh, is this a shortcut right here? Yeah, I can get myself a little shortcut back if I die, which I won't. In the tutorial, imagine dying. Shot glass has 10 defense, but dies really fast. What's my move? Shards. I can be a little spike boy. Feels like Kirby abilities almost. I gotta get. I gotta get used to the uh, the dodging and I'm gonna I'm gonna get screwed. My shot glass is about to break. The soda can feels effective. No. <laughs> Wait, do you die? It is a Souls like. Do you just die when you fall? You don't. So it's not like that brutally difficult. It's kind of. A bit more lenient. I got a sponge. An absorbent yellow and porous specimen. Increased umami regeneration from attacking. What is umami? Is that my X button stuff? I'm gonna guess that that's the, the purple, like, stars in the bottom left. This feels like Battle for Bikini Bottom if it was a Souls-like. Get depressurized. 
All right, let's get the dodging down. Okay, never mind. They hit twice. Hit me. Hit me. See what happens. No. Oh. <laughs> Is that a PBR? Physically based rendering. <laughs> it is a PBR. Just not that PBR. Legally distinct PBR. Hello. Oh my. I love they have little cotton swabs. All right. Depressurize. Big damage. I cast magic missile. I'm going to die. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude. Oh my. A watery grave. Dead in the dang tutorial. It's a souls like the dodge. I'm, I'm feeling weird on. I think I need to block more. That feels a lot more effective. That's my issue with a lot of souls games, is I don't like to block. I usually like to dodge roll, and the dodge roll feels like kind of. It's it's like it'll take some getting <laughs> getting used to. No, oh. I do like the the platforming elements of like you kind of have a lot of control in the air. Ow, this guy is rough, man. I think I just want to block. There we go. Oh, and they dropped their little hat so I can use it. All right, can I... Can I perfect block? All right, it feels like blocking is very effective. Yeah, I just got to get used to the, to the dodge roll. It feels very different to most souls. Like, it, it's a lot, like, slower feeling. I don't know how to describe it. Oh, a party hat. I can do party time? Yippee! Harvest Heart Kelp. This is healing. Just one. Okay. But it refills a, a healing thing in the bottom right there. Eek. What is this? Heart Kelp Sprout. A piece of kelp ready to bear nutritious pods. Permanently increases the amount of heart kelp pods you can hold. All right. More Estus. Thank you. What is party time? Whoa. What is, what is this? <laughs> That's the one thing I didn't expect from a party hat. A cannon. It's party time. Let me just waste all my charges before like the inevitable tutorial boss fight here. Hello, you look a lot bigger than most crabs. Are you a boss? The polluted platoon pathfinder. Uh oh. Hello, cannon him. I did like nothing. Crushing attacks. The blue aggro symbol lets you know an enemy is about to use a crushing attack. These are powerful blows that are very, very likely to break your shell if you're hiding in it. When you see it, be sure to dodge, run, or jump out of the way. Okay. So unblockables. You gotta dodge. I don't know if it's like, am I supposed to be doing it like Sekiro blocking? Okay, I'm doing badly. Hold up. Oh, my shell broke. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh, -oh, uh, -oh. uh so I gotta scramble around and find a shell. Okay, that's cool. Pressurize, depressurize. Whack. Get out of there, get out of there. We're gonna get crushed. Oh. How do I get out of that? I guess I'm supposed to... Oh, I forgot I have a sprint button so I can just run. No! My shell! Uh. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. All right, depressurize. Spam this, hopefully. That does a lot of damage. I need him to move. Oh, my bubbles. Wow, I'm really bad at dodging. <laughs> I thought he would swing faster. This is tough. Would you like to respawn at the nearby moon jelly location? I don't know what that means, but sure. Oh, nice. Thank you. All right, let's run this back and actually destroy him this time. Oh, got the roll under. Uh-oh. That is really hard to dodge. Dang, man. Shell broken. Uh-oh. So your shell is basically like if you're... It's like getting your stamina broken in any other Souls game. Wow, you cannot... You can't mash. Roll. There we go. <gasps> Pollution scoured. Oh, what is this? Thanks for playing. Oh, cool. That's the end of the tutorial. But I want to try out the other world they had. We'll try Expired Grove. If I'm getting destroyed in the tutorial, I'm going to get demolished here. But I'm curious to see, like, what else is there. Royal Wave Level 1. Subjugate enemies in front of you with a massive swipe of a Dungeness Crab's Claw, causing them to briefly take increased damage from all sources. Do I have magic? You have learned your first adaptation. An attack learned from a powerful creature can be used even without a shell equipped. Oh, okay. I got spells, basically. Use it with the RT at the cost of umami charges. Cool. Also, what is this hook? Am I supposed to be using this in combat? 
What is whoa fishing minigame? What happened? Wait, how do I? <laughs> There's a little fishing minigame. I got a muscle. It's like a long clam plus two attack. Are those like consumables? Oh, I didn't even pause. Did I use it? Inactive while naked. Whoa, skill tree. Look at this. Spear fishing, aggravation, repost. This is what I wanted. Wait, how do I parry? Release your block the moment an enemy strikes to perform a parry. Oh no, it's like smash ultimate. I could never get this down in, in smash. It's when you release the shield is when it parries, not when you press the shield. Skedaddle. Having B with no directional input will make Krill quickly dash backwards. My name's Krill. Perform a powerful stabbing attack. I can plunge. Okay, I have a bunch of new moves and stuff. I guess this is much later in the game. Hey, look who it is. It's Firth. Honestly thought you might have died in the sands between. Shut up, the sands between. That's so cute. No way, I'm pretty strong. I like your confidence, pal. At the very least, you made it this far. But stuff's gonna get rougher from here, you know? The Grove used to be a real chill village full of lovable country bumpkins. But anyone who gets the paper knows what happened here by now. Just 10 or 20 tides ago, a bunch of them went totally nuts. Foaming at the mouth, saying all kinds of weird stuff. And wouldn't you know what those crazy crabs up and killed the rest of them? That's horrible. Ah, don't lose too much sleep over it. Happens all the time these days. That... That seems really, really bad. Yeah, it's not great. But what can you do, you know? That's life in the sticks. Touch current. Is this a bonfire? Ooh! Moon snail shell found. This is... Bonfire? Do I sit and rest? No way, he's gonna set up a monster ca hunter camp in here. Oh, imagine if it cut inside of the shell and he had a little campfire sitting by it. That wouldn't make sense since he's underwater, but <laughs> would have been cute. I expected like a monster hunter tent. Shell port. I can level up, I have a shell collection. Oh my God, look at all these shells. That's, that's how you hook me right there, telling me like how many different shells there are. Okay, so I have vitality, resistance, attack, and MSG. Oh, because it's umami based attacks. <laughs> I like the simplification of the stats. I don't want like motivity and advance, adaptability and, and stuff. I like simple. Nothing scares me more in a Souls game than seeing like 20 different stats and they all like leveling it up increases by 0.63% per stat point. It's like yeah. a wafer cone. Umami training, shell spells. While wearing a shell, press X to consume umami. Yeah, we know about this. Shell spells is what they're called. What does freeze do? Ooh, okay. What about tin can? Ooh. All right, where do we head? Where are we headed? What happened? Oh. Whee! Wait, whoa, 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 hit me. What hit me? What was that? Oh, this guy. There's a crab archer. All right, it really wants me to use this adaptation thing. A siphonophore, an, unfathom an unfathomably large number of microscopic creatures make up this bizarre organism. Plus four MSG minus three attack. Dude, I got big crab claw. Now he's debuffed. Get out of here. Uh-oh. Ooh, don't shoot me. You can run while blocking and he'll do like a roll. Look. Music's very peaceful. You don't really get like ambient music in, in a lot of Souls games. It's kind of nice. Oh, new enemy. Are you an enemy? I'm playing in a Souls mentality where everything's an enemy. Hello. Ah. You die. Also, is this like poison? Oh. Miyazaki. <laughs> Miyazaki's influence is everywhere. Of course they throw me into the poison swamp level. Whee. No, don't, don't get poisoned, don't get poisoned. Miyazaki's trying to take me out with his poison swamp. Let me see if I can get this parry down. There we go. Oh no, my shell broke, never mind. <laughs> I didn't get anything down, I just lost my shot glass. I really do think this is a cool new mechanic though, the, uh, the whole shell breaking thing. I love having to, like, it feels very... It feels like a roguelike almost. Where I have to be constantly like swapping out my gear. Or no, 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 it doesn't feel like a roguelike. It feels like Breath of the Wild, but Soulsy, if that made any sense. But 
I like it because it forces me to experiment because that's one issue I have a lot with Souls games. I tend to just pick a single weapon or two and just stick with them like my entire playthrough in most Souls games I play because A, like I've already under, like I've already gotten good at using his moveset and B, it, you also like invest materials into upgrading it and then you don't want to swap out because like you've already invested so much into one weapon. But this game has kind of fixed that issue where uh, your weapons are your shield, but your shield also breaks all the time. Yo cult, probiotic. Is this yogurt? New shell discovered. Sea star. The legends say that these grant any wish. They're wrong though. <laughs> are these like consumables? What's the deal? I'm a little confused. Are these like badges? So this gave me more health, and you can see I can't get rid of it, but. You saw my health go up when I equipped it, so... I'm assuming they're like little badges you can get. Hello! You're a new enemy. I'm gonna activate probiotics. Heal me? Hello! Oh! <gasps> He's clobbering me. Get him! No, I missed my crab claw! Go for the kill. Banana peel? Yes! Oh, it's tiny. I can munch on it? Wait, I just ate it. Oh no, maybe that gives like a full heal. I think I just wasted my peel. Coffee mug, morning buzz. What does my morning buzz give me? What did that do? Attack rate up? Move speed up maybe? Okay, this, you gotta block a lot. Okay, it's definitely attack rate up. Hello. You look like Pikachu. What are you, a seahorse? Oh my God, hello. <laughs> I feel bad. Is it a seahorse shooting a little cereal? Like Cheerios at me? It's shooting Tic Tac. Tic Tacs at me. They're called Tic Tocs too. I can't wait to play this. I think it'll be a really fun like streaming game. So where do I go? Oh, heal me please. Thank you. Uh oh. The disease lycanthrope. This is something. Uh oh. My shell broke. It's like a- this feels like Pikmin. This is like a Pikmin enemy. Oh my- What is that? It's like a fuzzball. It ate me! What? I just- I'm dead! <laughs> oh! Why did it eat me? So I just can't attack it from the front? Ooh, wait, did that do? It broke my shell. Oh no, mason jar. This is new. It looks like it gives shards as well. Oh, that move's messed up. There's like no wind up on it. Oh, so ah, that's really frustrating. Oh, I got him. I was just kind of mashing to get through that. But that's super frustrating. If you're attacking it and you're too close, it'll just suck you up. Small friendly fish. Willing to come to its companion's defense. I got a chum. I put on my chum. Oh, little fish. Hello. How do you help me? Hello. Who are you? Tortellini. Ah. Leave me alone. Don't talk to me. If they see you talking to me, they're going to know I'm not a bush. Bushes don't talk. It's going to blow my cover. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Is this a Lego brick? Legal brick. <laughs> Definitely not Lego. Lego, if you're seeing this... This is legally distinct, not Lego. Definitely not Lego. It's just a square <laughs> with some holes on it. This is so weird playing a, like a Souls-like game with, with platforming. It just feels very strange. I mean, Sekiro kind of did it. It didn't really have very traditional platforming. It had a, a little more like scripted platforming. This feels very free and it's a little strange, but I'm getting used to it and I'm, I'm enjoying it. So where are we now? Ooh, new bonfire, a little apple core. Oh, it's an apple cutter. Oh, who dropped this in the ocean? That's useful. Touch the current. Moon snail shell found. Stupid bow guys ruin everything. What's my Lego brick do? Oh, I got the uppercut again. I'm gonna try and parry. I, I don't get the parrying system. I need like a tutorial on that. Uh oh. Who's this guy? Hello. Hammer lobster? Whoa! 
Crab him? Oh my god. No, oh, my shell broke. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Where's the shell? Where's the shell? I want to fight this guy, but I, I'm scared. So look up. Thank you. All right. Big lobster. Oh god. Big crab with the with the hammer. Oh my god. They have the big delays. Dude, the big delay on the swings is killing me. You're gonna have to give me a second. Did I die? Oh, I got depressurized. This is a big damage. I really like this spell. This one feels very strong. Look at that. Destroyed him. Increase shell spell damage. Yeah. This menu is a little confusing. Um, I don't know what Chum's doing for me. I kind of want to whelk. I like Chum. I haven't seen Chum do much for me. I'm still so confused on the, the parry and, and repost system that it said I have. Like, release your block the moment an enemy strikes to perform a parry. Okay, that doesn't make any sense to me. It's gonna be like Smash, where I randomly get parries. I'm not gonna, like, consistently get them. It feels really weird. Little red cup. Are you sure that's a little one? That one's bigger than me. There we go. I shrunk it down. Now I fit. Yo, McDonald's fries? Oh, sorry. Not, not McDonald's. It's Among Us fries. <laughs> Why'd they make the fries Among Us? Wait, what does this say? Uncrustworthy shuckers. Tartar sauce and vinegar sandwich. Ugh. Is that a thing? What kind of messed up world did Smuckers... Smuckers wasn't in the PB&J business. They were in the tartar sauce and vinegar business. Ew. I don't know. Is that a normal combination? That sounds nasty. Is this duct tape? No, it's sushi. And I can eat it. Nom. But surely we're like walking up on a boss fighter or something, right? If I were a boss arena, I would be this. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, don't draw your weapon. My chopsticks. Dude, you know, you know this boss at the 50 health, the 50% health mark is gonna pull those chopsticks apart and go into phase two. But Hykea, Intimidation Crab. Oh my god. What did he just do? Oh, no, 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 no. Keep the pressure as and keep the pressure on. Grapple. Oh, we're doing fishing. Yeehaw. Oh, so you can get like a free stun in with the, the grapple. Wow. Very strong. No, no, my shell. It's the sushi. <laughs> Munch it. Nice. Oh, there's more sushi over here. Oh, so you can get like free health. Ow. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh oh, he, I knew it! <laughs> Dual wield! Oh, he broke them too. He didn't properly pull them apart. You're supposed to pull them apart at the bottom. What are you doing? Oh. One more eat before I die. All right, so now my shell's broken. So if I get hit, I'm gonna like basically die in a single hit. I don't, actually don't know how much damage I take. I take about a third of my health. Oh man, dude, there are so many like, what's the word? Ending lag? Ooh, what? Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> um, I don't think that was supposed to happen. I got sent out of, out of orbit. Um, I can't pause or anything. Hold up. I gotta reset the game. I'm back. I had to do all that again, which kind of sucked. I had none of my, like, none of the shortcuts I unlocked saved, so I just had to do all the entire section again. But we're back. What was his name? Like, Hykea? Intimidation Crab. This time, I will be the one intimidating him. Hit him with the crab claw. All right, we're doing this. This is a solid run. No, oh, my... Oh, no. Hold up. Get the get the sushi. Munch. That move's got some good, good range. I really like it. Why can't I, I do anything? I'm scared? Oh, he keeps intimidating me. It applies like a status effect where I can't do anything for a bit. It's kind of weird. Uh oh Phase two. Oh. I love that he breaks the chopsticks. Oh, crab. oh, he command crabbed me. Oh no. My character said, oh, crab. Uh, do the spin move. Nice. I don't know how much damage that did, but it felt good. Oh, stagger window. Big crab tech. I wonder if I can do it. No. Oh, crap. 
I got command grabbed again. Hold up. Go for the stun. Free them in. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Got it. Okay, good, good, good. Get in there. Do the twirl. It wants me to do the grapple again. I don't. Can I like interrupt certain attacks with the grapple? Is that the deal? Uh oh, my shell broke. Ah, I'm naked. Yes, easy. Five thousand souls or whatever they're called. Microplastics. Pollution scoured. Stainless relic, a workable piece of metal. Maybe someone can turn it into something useful. Maybe. I'm not sure if we'll see that right now, but cool. Uh-oh. No, I knew they were going to hit me with... By the way, thanks for playing. Dang, I was having fun there. That was fun. Another Crab's Treasure is coming to Steam, Switch, and Xbox Game Pass in 2024. Go check this out for yourself. It's part of the Steam Next Fest. You can download the demo for free. And I think it's a really fun time. I really like the kind of like Breath of the Wildy shield mechanic where your shields give you unique abilities but they also break so you have to keep swapping out frantically and keep trying out different shield types i, I like that a lot there were some things i kind of had issue with like obviously there were a couple bugs here and there like i fell out of the map after getting killed by the boss there that was kind of weird something about the dodge roll also feels off i don't know what it is i'm curious if anyone feels the same if it's like kind of weird uh, I don't know. Also, the parrying system just feels strange to me. Like, I can't get it down. I don't think I landed a single parry. If I did, it was on accident. Maybe it's because I've been playing a lot of Lies of P lately that I'm in such like a, a perfect parry type of mood where, where I want to hit block right when they hit me. But something feels off about releasing the, the block button to parry. But it's just a demo. It comes out in 2024, so they've got plenty of time to tighten up all the, the rough edges. But I think they have something solid here, and I really enjoyed it. It kind of felt like a goofier Souls-like, and I'm glad I tried it out. But let me know what you think about this, and let me know your thoughts on, on the demo as well if you tried it out for yourself. Also, let me know if you want me to cover any other demos during the Steam Next Fest. This one was like one of the bigger ones that I have been looking at for a while, so I wanted to try it out, and I'm glad I did. But thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.